So many entries at our prize have deep personal meetings, and that's especially true for Linda Litterall, an incest survivor who is finding healing through art. I spoke with her about her entry at Monroe Community Church. This piece has been in my brain for a few years. Uh, my re during COVID, I wrote a book about how incest has affected my life and how art helped me to move beyond the pain and to, and to open up some doors. When I first started doing art, I was older, I was in my 30s, and that's when I started, went into therapy when I started talking about the incest and what had happened to me as a child. And I don't think I would have ever talked about it until I was able to express it visually because I couldn't talk about it. Uh, the visual representation of what happened is much easier for me than words. Uh, this piece is, the, the book is called Show and Tell, uh, Art, Healing, and Incest. So there's a lot of artwork throughout the book, and this is one of the main pieces that I did while I was writing the book. And it talks about thing, memories, things I did as a child on the other side of the faces. There are all the, uh, a lot of children's style drawings and uh, behind the curtains, I put curtains up to hide sexually explicit imagery of children being raped. What do you hope people take uh, take away from it then when they come and see it? Because it is an uncomfortable topic. It is. But it you've is. been able to make something beautiful out of it. Right. And that's, that's how I get people to look at the topic is by making beautiful things. Uh, my thesis show was about childhood sexual abuse, a voice for the voiceless. And what I want people to see is that if it happened to you, you're not alone. There's a bunch of us out there and we have your back or whatever you want to think about. There's hope. You can heal. I'm a fairly successful artist. I've taught in the university system. The, you know, I, when I was a kid, I would have never dreamed I could do anything like what I'm doing now. So it is possible even with the pain dragging you back at times. Yeah, and that's when you're hoping people can, can get that sense of right. not being alone. Right. Yeah, good. Well, thank you for sharing your story. I really appreciate it. No problem. <laughs>